is Nizar Farsak, who's a lecturer of international affairs at uh, George Washington University. Thank you very much for your time, first of all, Nizar. Uh, what's your reaction to the type, the timing, and indeed the nature of this attack by Israel on the capital? Uh, it does seem uh, specific, like to the message that uh, the Israeli government uh, said that it wants to send, which is uh, a, a qualitative attack um, on as a response to uh, the, uh, the missiles in Majd al Shams. Uh, it is interesting that he is actually an important uh, military uh, um, leader, basically. And uh, com uh, when you count all of the previous ones, uh, it seems Israel is focused focusing on uh, depleting uh, Hezbollah's uh, command and control structure in the south so that should a war erupt, uh, Israel will have a, a stronger, um, uh, an easier task. And uh, Nizar, we, we understand that the US Vice President Kamala Harris has been speaking and indeed saying that Israel has a right to defend itself once again we're witnessing the U.S.'s unwavering support for Israel. Uh, what do you make of that? Is this really helping find a solution to the tension in the region that you, the U.S. claims that it's, it's trying to do? Well, I mean, I think it's more rhetoric and everybody understands it as, as rhetoric. Uh, it is an election year, so you really cannot expect uh, uh, less than that uh, from uh, an, a presidential nominee. Uh, however, I mean, it's true that we actually do not know uh, who's culpable for that attack. Uh, the the, the al Shams is uh, not an Israeli city, it's an occupied Syrian city, and the, the citizens there have consistently refused Israeli citizenship. So uh, the, gover the Israeli government is clearly using this as a vehicle uh, to try to, uh, as an excuse to try to deplete uh, uh, Hezbollah's uh, capacities. And the U.S. cannot say otherwise. Now, there are reports that in uh, Netanyahu's visit uh, um, last week, there were indications that the U.S. was warning uh, has, um, uh, the Israeli government that an escalation, if there is a level of escalation for which the U.S. will not support Israel uh, in order to try to deter it. So probably they did discuss specifics and uh, the, the, the person attacked, uh, Shukr, uh, might have been uh, within that threshold. Uh, Nizar, thank you very much for your time. Nizar Farsak uh, speaking to us there live from Washington.